Hello guys, uh, my name is Benyafo and welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new and welcome back if you are a subscriber, you always come back to my videos and I wonder why you are not subscribing uh, but thank you for popping by so today's video is going to be on how I survived second year so that means I am third year now as you can see my wall is back um, I think this is one of the things that I, what, number one thing that actually got me through second year is um, telling myself that I can make it, you know, positive attitude, words of affirmation that I can actually do it. So yeah, number one would be words of affirmation to myself and that's why my wall is back again. But before we continue with number two, I want to show you a little DIY project that I've been doing and I want it to go up here, up my wall. So here it is. This is my little DIY project that I did myself. So I just used cardboard and I used tritoform or something like that. I really forgot. But the white thing is what you usually get from like, let me say you buy a microwave or whatever. Uh, or a refrigerator. What protects it? The Yeah, the protecting thing, the white thing that you find in the items, appliances and all that. And then this is our traditional way, the Awambo traditional way. This was like my sister's. Now she's 11, but I think she was a baby, so it's very little. And um, I just used spray paint to, gold spray paint. So that was like 72 rand or something. I'm not sure, but I bought it from game. And I got this AMB. Usually I get this from home. It's like traditional fruit or something like that. I really don't know what to call it in Oshwama, but AMB um yeah pretty much that's it i don't know if i'm just cheap instead of buying a frame but uh i mean i'm a student i guess that's my uh defense when it comes to not just buying an actual frame but it this thing out there where i really wanted it moving on to number two of uh the things that how i survived second year is that my social media i mean I don't have any social media app on my phone nor my iPad right now as I speak. Although I get times when I go like on Facebook or Twitter, like by browsing and like, you know, just going to Google and Google Facebook or Twitter. But um, I think that takes a lot of self-discipline just to stop from that. But the best thing to do, what I did is just delete those apps from my phone. Cause I mean, it's easier to get notifications from, um, from the apps unless you stop those notifications from coming in but uh for me the best thing was deleting the apps and um you know like with now uh ios being upgraded or the new is it ios 12 it actually gives me a time limit on how how much how many minutes or how many hours you can actually spend us in a certain app and that's what i did and actually websites themselves um so i have limited my facebook time Twitter and um, my YouTube time because I spend most of my time on YouTube um, but I can't delete like YouTube because I have like educational materials that I look I check out on YouTube Go to number three is basically asking uh, I mean in the previous video that I um, like my how I survived first year video I spoke of how you should consult even my uh, how to pass your exams I spoke about consulting your lecturers your tutors and everything but um, it's the same thing really but one thing I can add on is having seniors for me I have my seniors like right now I'm in third year and there are those who are in CTA and doing their postgraduate diploma in accounting so as those people, I mean, they have a better understanding and they have experienced how it feels to be in second year or first year and all that. Like right now, I can't, I don't think it's wise that I only have people that I talk to who are third years. I am, so I have to have seniors and get a mentor. Like it doesn't really have to be somebody who is in school in varsity or whatever but people who are working who can just mentor you i have those so you should get number those. four is not to normalize uh failing because there are times when we find ourselves in situations where 
all our friends or memes and that's why i'm i'm so i think i said this before on how to pass your exams like i'm so against memes that talk about how much you have qualified to get into exams what like honestly we shouldn't normalize you shouldn't normalize failing and that's how uh, i would really feel bad if i failed or if i didn't get the target like let me say uh, obviously passing you need a 50% but that's not what I want and if I get there then I won't be happy and sometimes you find people who will tell you that a 50% is just good enough why are you crying but I mean I put my standard so high maybe not so so high like other people but I'm never aiming to get a 50 because that's just average never aim to be average Go to number five number five is sleeping on fridays i i like second year i used to write most of my tests on fridays so after a long week of doing homeworks assignments and so many other things friday i write the test and i'm like i'm not going out i am not i'm just not doing anything i just sleep on fridays so i wake up a better person and energized to work on a Saturday morning or Saturday evening. I'm not really a morning person so I'm most likely to sleep until my afternoon and then work during late my late my late afternoon and during the night and I think that's why it's very important to it's very important to know yourself on if you are you know if you're a morning person or you are a night person then understanding yourself on how you can actually minimize maximize your end you know maximize your time when when you are working if that makes sense uh but yeah but know yourself so that you can actually work better because it doesn't make sense uh, i'm not a morning person and i force myself because my friends are morning people and they are going to the library to go and study and i'm forcing myself to go to the library i end up not doing anything either i just sleep there because for me i sleep anyway it doesn't matter if it's in the if it's in the library i'll sleep anyway as long as i'm i'm tired so it defies the point of going to the library to go study sleep during the morning if you want and then um you know you can study overnight but just be careful when it's during the week because um and that's the way i usually have a but i usually have a battle because i want to study during the night and then early morning i need to go to class so you know i kind of have to train myself to work during the day over the week and then over my holiday i can have it over the weekend i can have it my way and then we go to number six. Six is very simple. Don't be lazy. Uh, it's just simple as that. Uh, just don't be lazy. And I remember my dad even once told me sleep is not work because sometimes you just want to sleep and that's really just laziness when you, are, when you have your eight or nine hours sleep or you took a nap and then you still want to sleep again. Like simply just not being lazy and just working just work 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 and then adding on that is not to postpone things uh my friend actually fortunatus <laughs> fortunatus says um actually wrote this down because we we're actually talking i actually asked um asked him about this and he was like incorporate your weakness into your strength Wait, incorporate your weakness into your life to make it a strength. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, let me say what he meant is you want to go to the library. And you know that most of the time, and this is actually what happens to most of us, especially me. I plan to start studying at 6, but the moment I arrive at the library at 6, I know I'm not going to start studying at 6 immediately. Um, I'll start, like, studying at 30 past 6 because i was let me say on youtube checking out my people you know i love my uh jamie and nikki my jackie aina you know those kind of things so i know i won't be studying i won't be studying straightforward like the moment i get at the library so it's it's a matter of incorporating that time that you want 
like you sometimes you just know that you're not gonna study but you still tell yourself that you're gonna study at six instead uh instead uh when you on your timetable say you are studying at 6 30 and you're going to arrive at the library at six o'clock so so that you don't actually feel bad at the end of the day um because the moment you tell yourself that you're gonna start at six and you don't want to start at six and you start at six that you start feeling better about yourself and you feel like every single thing in your life is just bad i don't know if i made that point clear but i think it's very important that you improvise for slacking that's what you say as well uh, improvise for slacking so that you don't feel bad about yourself at the end of the day again because feeling bad about yourself is the last thing you want to do and then lastly and i think not the least but i think it's also one of the most important things really is taking care of my mental health uh sometimes you come i come in front of the camera and i'm all smiley and you know it's it's really not like this 24 hours of my day or you no know, 24 7 it's really not like this i mean i'm just happy when i'm filming and i wouldn't feel when i'm not feeling myself and i wouldn't turn on my camera when i'm crying or anything but uh when i was in second year so much was happening you know so many things that could take a toll on my mental health but I think that brings to the point where you should know yourself and secondly knowing who to tend to when you are feeling some type of way when you're not feeling yourself um you know you hear some people have suicidal thoughts you know you are failing sometimes just not about school but in other aspects of life like home you know other personal issues um so i don't know i i knew who to tend to you know their counselors their um, you know my parents my friends depending on what kind of issue it is i was able to talk to someone and trust me i don't know people find it weird when you, you talk to a counselor or a psychologist and all those things i have been there before um yeah do what do whatever you need to do to just be well and i don't think i would have managed my second year if i did not take so much care and, you know i took so much care and i really made sure that that did not go in my way to succeed during my I second year. i have addressed the most important things and that's basically it and that's how i survived second year and if you're in second year first year or in any other year I hope this helps you and all the best for your academic year and if you are not a student for your work life or if you are still looking for work you you know all the best with every single thing and don't forget to subscribe guys bye